Do y'all think that I would go on the internet and lie about being invited to the White House? Like, what? Nicki Minaj is furious. The rapper went on Instagram Live to vent in a 14-minute rant Wednesday, September 14th, after the White House denied her claim that she was invited to discuss the COVID-19 vaccines, after she tweeted claims about the shot's potential side effects. In her live, Nikki went on to say she was invited to speak with Dr. Fauci and Surgeon General Vivek Marthy. And do you know what I said? I said, well, um, I would rather not have to travel. Can we do some, something like a, um, a live? And they said, that they're open to me choosing a platform to do a live, but they have never taken that off the table for me to come to the White House. According to the rapper, things went sideways about three hours after the call when she tweeted she had been invited. They allegedly called her back saying they weren't happy that she let people know she was going there. A White House official told Billboard of Minaj's claim she was invited, saying, as we have with others, we offered a call with Nicki Minaj and one of our doctors to answer questions she has about the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine. When 80% of the artists that y'all following right now feel like I feel about the vaccine and are too afraid to speak on it. And guess what they're doing right now? If they assassinate me and assassinate my character and make me look crazy or stupid, guess what? No one else will ever ask questions again. Nikki also vented that she was unhappy about being called out and bullied for the tweets in which she shared the alleged tale of how her cousin's friend in Trinidad reportedly suffered from swollen testicles after receiving a COVID-19 shot, saying she wanted to do more research before getting vaccinated. So anybody in this country has the right to question anything about their health. Because if your health mattered that much, there would be free Healthcare bozos. There's no evidence that it happens, nor is there any mechanistic reason to imagine that it would happen. Meanwhile, Dr. Fauci and Trinidad's health minister have both debunked the claim that the coronavirus vaccines could cause swollen testicles. In her Instagram story earlier in the night, Minaj also revealed that her Twitter account had been locked after her tweets about the COVID-19 vaccine. When Billboard reached out to Twitter for comment on Minaj's account, the social media platform denied it had taken any action against her. In her live, Nikki also said she would follow up today with an update. For more on this developing story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Chelsea Briggs.